Now we are moving away from this, where we are going to look at this particular area of Pacific Island nations. I will tell you two to three important events which happened, which situates Pacific Island nations as a potential area for revision and questions. So first is uh, the Prime Minister of India actually attended a Pacific Island conference where 14 island nations were, inv were invited. Second, both the countries of United States and China are trying to invite as many countries or islands as possible into their diplomatic fold so that it is possible for them to extract resources in the Pacific Ocean. So because of the involvement of not just India but other important superpowers, we consider this, this area to be potential for questions when it comes to map. So now again, as I told you, it's not possible to look at all of them, but countries and islands which have more repetition or more value when it comes to current affairs. So first we'll start from here, an island called Timor. And this is the country of Indonesia, which is uh, composed of uh, several uh, hundred islands. It's a big archipelago. The first island I want to have your reference or your focus on is an island which is present uh, right here, the island of Timor, island of Timor. Again, Timor Island is shared by two countries. One is Indonesia itself and the second is Timor Leste or East Timor. Please remember, East Timor is a country. This is a separate country, it does not belong to Indonesia. And south of East Timor, you have Timor Sea or Timor Sea. So if they ask you questions on where exactly Timor Sea is present or where is East Timor, you should be in a position to locate where exactly it is. To repeat, it is closer to parts of northern Australia, that is Darwin. Again, recollecting uh, from your geography class, uh, Darwin is the place where you have your El Nino measurements when they look at atmospheric pressure uh, to determine whether uh, this year will be an El Nino year or a La Nina year. So close to Darwin, you have East Timor and Timor Sea. This is location one. Second, I'm going to take you to the island of New Guinea. So again, this is the entire New Guinea island, New Guinea. And the New Guinea island itself is not a country again. Look, look closely. One part of New Guinea will belong to Indonesia. And similar to Timor, the eastern part is a country called Papua New Guinea. So if they ask you the location of Papua New Guinea, please remember. So from East Timor, you have to go to the next island. That is Timor Island. Then we have Papua New Guinea Island. This is location number two. So with Papua New Guinea as reference, we are going to frame two countries from western side to eastern side. It is always a potential question uh, when it comes to UPSC. So these are the three places. Remember this word, P, S, and T. So I'm going to finish this as usual by using a vowel. That's the principle I've already told you, post. Post, that's all. P for Papua New Guinea. I've just introduced the country. S for a country called the Solomon Islands. And T for a country called the Tuvalu. Now Solomon Islands is a news because this country has taken a good amount of financial help from China and it is believed that uh, China might exert more influence over Solomon Islands from the upcoming years for extraction of resources and sovereignty control in the Pacific Ocean. So that is why this was the news. And next is Tuolo, an important place in Pacific Ocean. So visualize this, you have a post, okay, and it's going to have legs, right? So I'll give it a face, there you go, post, I'm going to give it legs also, okay. And this is going to stand for two countries which are present immediately south of Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands and Tuvalu. So that's your feet. It is V-shaped feet. So remember the words V and F, that's all. Okay, just for finishing the mnemonics. V for a country called Vanuatu. V-A-N-U-A-T-U. And then F for a country called Fiji. So this is the order as you move from western side to eastern side. And the north to south arrangement if by any chance they ask you, because UPSC hasn't asked that uh, arrangement type of question for quite some time, easily more than seven to eight years, where they will ask you, uh, you know, maybe they can ask you as in uh, four to five island, room is, island groups they might give you, ask you to arrange from western side to eastern side, eastern to western side, north to south. Not necessary, it has to be only in South Pacific Ocean. Maybe they could combine this with an island in North Pacific, an island in South Pacific, that is South Atlantic, that is also possible. But here, since these five islands were in use, I don't want you to forget this. Visualize this picture. Post, P for, P for Papua, Papua New Guinea, S for Solomon Islands, C for Tuvalu, with V-shaped feet, V for Vanuatu, and then F for Fiji. 
Now, we are going to look at two more islands which were in use. The first is Nauru. Remember this. Nauru is one of the closest equator. Okay. So, if they ask you in terms of a closest one to equator with reference to Solomon Islands, you can clearly see where Nauru is present. That's location one. And the second island which was in use because of the involvement of United States of America, again, closer to the country of Philippines is an island called Palau. So, last year, 2023 again, for the very first time, Palau actually allowed a, or it signed an agreement with the United States of America which allows USA to dictate how its uh, economic resources in its or the how the sovereignty will be dictated by United States in its exclusive economic zone. Now, why this is of importance and which country is quite upset, you can clearly see why it is. Because if you are closer to Palau, you are closer to Philippines and if you are closer to Philippines, you are already closer to China. Because presently, I think in the last one month, you can see the number of news articles, there is a lot of tussle going on between uh, China and Philippines. So, if the United States could actually have a lot of hold here, it definitely has a strong hold or let's just say a rippling effect on China. So, please remember, Palau is in the northern part of your Pacific Ocean. It is not in the southern part of Pacific Ocean where we discussed all the other places and countries. It is below the equator. All the first five islands I have talked. Then I have taken you to Nauru, immediately south of the equator. Then I have taken you to Palau. So, this is because of the negotiation between United States and this small island nation. Then finally, of course, uh, before we go towards uh, East Asia, is this island of Guam, G-U-A-M. So, this island, as you can clearly see, belongs to the United States of America. So, this was, uh, this came under U.S. control in the year 1898 uh, after they uh, captured this island uh, after defeating the Spanish and Spanish-American uh, war. So, this is one of the closest territories of United States of America to China. Not just China, if you would allow me to show which other country is actually north of that. Guam is one of the very close territories of United States to North Korea. So, if by any chance North Korea develops weapons, this is the closest area of United States which might come into contact. So, naturally, uh, this is a news because of proximity to Philippines also and there is more potential for questions.